you have done the shadow work Capricorn there you are with the Queen of Pentacles you've done the shadow work you have really taken a look and healed your inner child Capricorn, how are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, it's time for your mid month, Capricorn. So let's get an oracle card to start this off. One oracle card for my cast of Capricorns. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Let's get it. Eh, Capricorn, what do you? What are you keeping to yourself? It's almost like there's, I'm just um, there. Oh, that's too many. I'm gonna read through them, but it's too many Capricorn. Spontaneity, you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. That's beautiful energy. Empathy, you feel and understand the emotions of another. In, serve, in the service of love and humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are on, are the same, but on different paths. And that's where empathy comes into play. Those two play off each other. That when you, when you can see a common thread in everyone that you meet, that's what brings people together rather than separation. Ooh, Capricorn. Are you expressing this? Let's get one, one Oracle card for the cast of Capricorns for this read. Just one. Right there. Creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovation, and forms of illumination. Ooh, that's a good one. So what are you creating, Capricorn? Patience. <laughs> you are able to let the universe energy, universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Let's get to the tarot. What are, I want to know. You're creating. And what you're creating, you're being patient with. Well, Capricorn. The earth signs know about the long haul. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, no. That it's going to take days, months, years to develop, create something. And that's legacy, isn't it? That's legacy. It's very 10th house Capricorn, isn't it? All right. Let's see what the tarot has. Let's get some tarot out. Having to do with this creativity. First card out. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Your emotions are confusing your direction for some of you. And the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever hasn't materialized for you, Capricorn, because um, I got seven and seven right here. You're waiting for what it is that you've dreamt about, what it is that you have, are manifesting. You're waiting for these manifestations to materialize. And if you're getting impatient, just keep creating. They will come. The Hermit. This you know. This is a light bulb moment, right? I see the light bulb. This is also going deep within to seeing how your emotions can court, kind of distort your manifestations. Okay. This is the illusion of disbelief of magic. Disbelief of you can really manifest. No, you can't. This no, you can't kind of energy is is what the illusion is is what they want and i say the powers that be want you to believe that you're not magical you're not special you're not anything you're just a slave a corporate slave that's what you are capricorn you get the work done you always stay late you come in early this is what they want you to believe you're seeing through the illusions and creating something that's going to light up the world Yes, your focus on foundation is what makes you happy. That what makes you happy could be work, could be coming up with new ideas. As the, the um, creativity card says, the love, you love to devise new ideas right here. Innovations and forms 
of illumination. This is what makes you happy, Capricorn. Beautiful. The recent past. You're keeping this quiet. I kind of felt that with the shuffle. You're keeping this quiet in the near future. The Three of Wands, making plans for the future of how the future is going to go, of how you're going to create your own world and then get others on board to create their own worlds. And that is of Ten of Cups. Beautiful. How you see yourself. Ace of Cups, it starts with self-love, doesn't it, Capricorn? You're figuring this out. If you haven't already, you are figuring out. It starts with the Ace to get to the Ten. How other people see you as the High Priestess. Ooh, Capricorn. This is beautiful. This is how, this is respect. Ooh, Capricorn. Hope and fear is the Tower. I love this Tower because... In a cap, especially with this read with Capricorn, it's just whatever they throw at you, whatever negativity, whatever shocking news or shocking events, whatever happens, it's just a crack. It's just a crack. You are still moving forward. I don't want to even say it doesn't phase you, but come on, Capricorn. Who's the most resourceful? You. Who can make something out of nothing? You. Last card out. <laughs> and you're creating your independence, Capricorn. Look at this. Look at this. And you're waiting patiently. Patience at the bottom of the Oracle deck. You are able, and this is what helps or hinders you. So this is definitely going to help. When you have patience, you are able to let the universe, universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Are you dancing with the universe, Capricorn? Ooh, I love it. That which you might not see. And underneath the deck, 10 of wands, heavy burdens. You've got a lot on your plate, Capricorn. You've taken on a lot of responsibilities, as you do, as you do. I'm kind of feeling with this, and this is what you do not see, is that you're taking on the weight of the world on your shoulders. That you just want people to see and experience love, unconditional love. Oh, don't I know it. Okay. Seven of Cups. What, uh, and I'm going to ask, what illusions is Capricorn seeing through? It's, it's like Capricorn's seeing through the illusions. So let's get some clarifiers for the cast of Capricorns. I'm going to take it. You're moving forward. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Two majors clarifying the seven of cups. You are moving forward. Now that you have balanced out your light and your dark, your shadow, you've done the shadow work. A lot of you Capricorns have done the shadow work with Pluto being in Capricorn for, oh, I don't know, since 2008. Lord, give me strength. It's still there. We're going to go into Aquarius, but then come back, I think, one more time. And again, I'm not an astrologer. But this is you really doing the shadow work, looking through how um, you have lied to yourself, the illusions and the emotion. These are emotional illusions. How you make yourself feel. And yet, being quiet. Moon card, right? This is a lot of deep work. And look at you coming out as the Emperor, Capricorn. Aries energy, this is the spark that I am. I am Capricorn. And I am patient with my creation, with my creativity. I have brilliant, innovative ideas. I'm an industry innovator. And that's what makes me happy. Hello, Capricorn. Let's get to it. Clarifying the Hermit. <laughs> You are manifesting. Look at this. You are manifesting. Bossing up. And again, the Seven of Pentacles, taking a look at what it is that you've created, what it is, where you're moving into, how you are going to move forward with all these ideas, businesses, passive income. Um, where are all the income streams, right? How it is that you're solidifying these income streams, taking a look at what needs my time, what doesn't need my time. Capricorn is really assessing, uh, taking stock, 
do I really need to spend a lot of time doing this, that, or the next, or do I need to really do what I love? And when, as my grandmother said, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Well, Capricorn, are you enjoying what you are creating and what you're working on? Let's find out. With the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. This is also generosity being generous. It could be that you're moving forward and leaving some of your um, investments, some of your income streams to other people. Having them do, let's say if you are a content creator, ha uh, hiring someone to do the editing, to do the sound, to do whatever it is that you do. And that's just content creation, right? This could also be um, really finding, and this is Taurus energy, really finding solid people who value you, value work, and who also love what they do. And taking that leap of faith into that new emperor. You're manifesting boss and up. You're manifesting something brand new and taking that leap of faith on yourself, on what it is that you love to do, Capricorn. Oh, wow. The moon in the recent past, the page of cups. For some of you, it's a brand new love. No, it's not, it's forgiveness. Look at that. You have done the shadow work, Capricorn. There you are with the queen of pentacles. You have done the shadow work. You have really taken a look and healed your inner child. You love with love, with acceptance, with unconditional. This is the take care queen and you've been taking care of your shadow side with this, as I see, with this, uh, chariot card, you've been taking care of your emotion, um, of what's confusing, what is real, what is is based in fact. How am I fooling myself into thinking I'm not the boss as Capricorn? How, how, how is that even possible? And so you're taking care of all of that, I'm going to say inner childhood work. Uh, taking care of your child. Sometimes when you didn't, for some of you Capricorns that did not have a good mother figure, that did not have a good mom, whether it be through addiction, um, whatever. I'm not gonna go through it. You know if you've had a really good solid mom, Queen of Pentacles or not, okay? You are, there comes a point, if you didn't have good parenting, there comes a point where you then have to parent yourself. You have to love yourself, take care of yourself, nurture your own inner child and tell your inner child, do what you love, you're good at music. That's what you, should do practice get write your music write your your stories write your books write your poetry um create what it is that you're creating we got the creativity card right here you love to devise new ideas i got that light bulb that's the hermit you could be doing it all in hermit mode like if people are saying i haven't seen capricorn in months i haven't seen capricorn in a long time where's capricorn and capricorn's manifesting <laughs> the emperor Capricorn's manifesting a brand new beginning and it's after the shadow work that Capricorn has done in the future making plans with the three of wands to move forward and take that leap of faith into your happiness and you're waking up you are waking up look at this and I really see especially if you are a content creator you're waking up those around you in your community in your family your um your subscribers or viewers if you're an influencer this is you waking up to the, you create your own story. You are the director. You write your own story. So what story are you writing? Ooh, Capricorn. <laughs> the Hermit. The story that Capricorn is writing, go back up to the higher self, is to be patient with what it is that you're creating because you're manifesting a whole new way of operating a whole new no more zombie no more no more zombie for for you that no no more zombie companies no more getting bailouts if you can't make it <laughs> someone else some other emperor will take the market share just saying how you see yourself ace of cups the knight of cups this is my creative knight right there and it's interesting that i see that you're speaking love oh i'm hearing it loving thoughts to yourself first this is the shadow work of the past beautiful 
In the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is this... Oh, I'm going to put this underneath that hermit because I think that's what you were doing in hermit mode. You were really taking a look at what gets your attention, what gets your investments. Do you see how all these pentacles that you are now holding, that you are now putting time, money, effort into, come from your thoughts? So this is doing the shadow work, is clearing out the negative thoughts. It's okay to have negative thoughts. It's okay to, but you have to see through them with the Seven of Cups. It's, it's okay to go through these times, but then to, to regulate, to self-regulate, to, to listen to how you talk to yourself, to listen to what's going through your, your, your mind, and to realize and to see, okay, I need to transmute that, okay, I need to change that thought, okay, that's my old pattern, and I've got a new Ten of Cups way of thinking, way of talking to myself, way of talking to others. If other people do not bring what I bring to the table with this Six of Cups, if they do not bring love and optimism and positivity, I'm not dealing with them. And that's okay too. You don't have to deal with everyone. This is being discerning, right? And discernment is a superpower. It really is. It's not judgment. It's discernment. Other people see you as the high priestess. Wow. They see you. Wow. And I've got the tower twice. I really feel this is an epiphany. This is, the high priestess is knowing, is listening to your higher self. A kind of Capricorn, this is other people really recognizing. This is respect that you've been through the towers. You have built and had, um, whether it be businesses, whether it be friendships, family, uh, come crashing down. Could have been in love. But with your own Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, I kind of feel that other people see this as you experiencing uh, uh, like a lightning bolt, a lightning bolt of um, like a euphoric kind of hit you like a ton of bricks kind of epiphany about what love is starting with yourself and that then you manifest and attract others who have done the work as well. So what is this tower, hope and or fear? Yes, exactly what I said. The Ace of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups and a path change with the Two of Wands. You have decided to take a path of love Yes, it's not walked. There's, it's, it's rough. <laughs> when I walk in the woods, there's paths that are well-traveled and then there are paths that are a little rough out there. And this is you taking that a different path because you love what it is that you do. You love yourself. You love your family. You love your inner child. You love and see connections through others in the same way, in a loving way. And this is what's bringing you independence, that you really don't care how other people think of you because of integrity. You are living a life of integrity, of love, of self-love first, love of God. And other people see you. Other people see you having these epiphanies, these loving epiphanies. It could be you found Jesus again. It could be that you have really connected through the high priestess to God, to the universe, to the most high, to the light, however you want to call it. So let's clarify the nine of pentacles. Look at that. The king of pentacles. You have a king and a queen right here and the two of cups. Have you found your king? It looks like you're getting uh, getting it all um, official with this justice card, but I really feel this is when you've done the work, you then attract, as I said, someone who has also done the work, and this is what you're owed. This is karmic justice for you, Capricorn. This is karmic justice. That even within a relationship, you still have your own independence, which is lovely. And that's from doing the hermit's work. That's going into hermit mode. And man, and for some of you, you really did manifest your emperor. 
if you're uh, a feminine, you, you manifested your emperor. He's right here, the king of pentacles. And you're looking into the future with him as the queen of pentacles, or vice versa. That which you might not see. It's the ten of wands. The ten of wands is clarifying, or the lovers clarifies the ten of wands. Heavy burdens. So is this love? This is a divinely guided love. This is a love that um, I don't want you to feel heaviness with. I want you to let go of all of that. Pat, the, when you've done the, the shadow work, Capricorn, you let go of all that. You let go of what didn't work out, why it didn't work out. And you've gone through all of the analysis. You've done all the work. And it's with that Ace of Cups. So don't, don't get back. And, and I'm not saying that you're not going to. You are. And this is where communicating with your king, the king and the queen, moving together with the lovers and the two of cups, you knew, you knew what the high priestess and other people see it. You might not see it in yourself, but other people see that you manifested the love of your life for some of you. And if you haven't, you're gonna be patient, patiently waiting right there. We have it twice with the seven of pentacles. All right. Now, let's get some angel numbers. I see 187. Let's do 187. What you have experienced and what you have learned are gifts that allow you to understand who you are and what talents you have. Take some time to see you are a special soul, Capricorn. No, I love that. It's giving me tingles. It really is. 977. Let's do 977. You are a special soul, Capricorn. 977. The power and energy of life and magic, magician right there, are moving through your life now. Call for the miracles you need to prepare to receive them immediately. And it's funny how you've got the seven of, of pentacles twice. You're waiting. You're waiting. But call for the miracles you need to prepare to receive them immediately. So this is about belief. Do you believe in magic, Capricorn? Do you believe in miracles? I do. I see, last one, I see 392. The last one, 392. You are surrounded by positive and powerful people. Soak up the goodness and share it with your tribe. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, that's what I see for you, Capricorn. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.